Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick unboxing review of this thing I picked up tonight. It is, as you can see, the ITC Terrain Series Cargo Container Set A. And I got these because I figured they look pretty cool on the helicarrier if I ever get it back out or just for terrain in general. And it was a mere $8. So I can't really complain about that price at all. So what are we get in the box here? So it's NDF Terrain, pretty standard stuff. Oh no, it's not, it's not all MDF. Oh wow. So this is MDF here. This is cardboard. Wow. So it's a combination of cardboard and MDF. That doesn't weigh much. So the idea will be that you put the in the cardboard on the inside of the MDF boxes. Interesting. So, yeah, that's probably why it's so cheap because it's not that much MDF. It's kind of disappointing though they didn't include the cutouts here. That would have been cool to have those bits left on the left in the kit. Maybe just much lighter to ship that way, I don't know. Because it can't possibly be used for much else. But it's kind of nice, though. You don't have to do any sprue punching either. So they're just straight up assembly. Grab your glue and away you go. See all the nice laser scorch marks on it. But I figured these cool these things will look pretty cool. Um, really easy to assemble, and of course they will be easy to workify. So let's put one of these bad boys together and see what it looks like. Okay, so here it is, all assembled, and I've got a lot to talk about. And so let's start with the basic construction. Um, I went to the, it wasn't fitting right, it didn't seem to be going together right, so I went to the instructions, and the instructions were no help. It turns out that these notches are not centered. So you have to go, the, everything goes together one specific way, and you can see you got an edge, edge, so they kind of sit along each other like that. And that part was not clear on the instructions at all. So it took me a few minutes of fiddling to um, figure out how the notches were supposed to go in there. Uh, these cardboard pieces on the inside, you're supposed to fold them in half, and they don't fold very easily. Uh, the laser, the cut for the fold is, isn't deep enough, the fold rips, and if you're pushing on it in just the wrong spot, you know, these very thin pieces of cardboard here will bend at the ends of these slits. So I had to use a straight edge on the folds to get them to fold, and gluing the fold together, putting glue here on, uh, over each of these, um, slats here is very frustrating and it's just very time consuming um, and lastly when I went to slide these in they didn't fit they didn't account for the thickness of the cardboard um, when putting when sizing these things out so I actually had to put I tried to put in you know opposite ones and slide them in it, I had to trim them I tried to put in one and put in one next to it it didn't fit so I had to trim down half of these two on each end to get them to fit in here. And um, so, and, and it was just very tedious. And lastly, what I want to talk about is, I might be wrong on this, but as far as I'm concerned, I think the packaging is a little bit deceptive. Um, because it says, because it says cargo container A, it has a picture of three cargo containers. So, I mean, it could be read that it has a cargo container. It could also be read as style A um, with three containers in it. Even when you look at the parts list, it says eight of these and four and four of these. You're not paying attention. It looks like you can get two, car two containers out of this package. So, overall, what do we got? We got crappy instructions, tedious instructions, or tedious construction, fit issues oh and lastly because you're supposed to put the sides together and then slide these in getting glue on the insides here yep it isn't easy to do to reach in here and get glue around these so these will actually stick all the way around um, so we have uh, crappy instructions fiddly fit fit issues hard to glue and as far as I'm concerned deceptive packaging and you know half of these things are cardboard while it seems the cardboard would be protected these are still pretty big holes and if you go to the other style where it's just open here 
I can see very easily being able to punch that cardboard out or have it rip or something. Um, so overall, I'm incredibly disappointed with this product. Even at eight dollars, you know, if if I'm going to get a cardboard container, you know, I might as well go to laser cut card. I mean, for for the price of three of these, I can get or four of these maybe with shipping, you can get eleven laser cut card cardboard uh, cargo containers, and I think they look better too. So my review of the ITC train series cargo container A is a complete and total fail. As I said, issues is fiddly fit, crappy instructions, fit issues, hard to glue, and deceptive packaging. So this is a real quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, if I if you're going to thinking about picking up cargo containers, I would check out Laser Cut Card personally. I love their products. Never had any issues with them. I'm sure Nick over at Itty Beer will will attest to the fact that Laser Cut Card makes an absolutely excellent product at an amazing price. I would much rather have that over over these uh, mixed media cardboard and MDF cargo containers. So I'm going to have cardboard. If I'm going to risk my stuff with, uh, of cardboard, I might as well just go all cardboard and save a crap ton of money. So that's it for this video, and I'll talk to you later.